Brian. Tell Ten question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, 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 I want to hit you with something hard, Brian. You, 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 you're Mr. Debater. Tell us about your expectations, if any, for, for the government of Guyana 2015 and beyond, regardless of who wins. Um, well, I, I, unfortunately, I, fortunately, I, I believe that there is going to be a change in government. Um, my expectations, my expectations are that for once, finally, I think we should start the process of uh -huh. reconciliation, we should start the process of nation building, we should start the process of healing. I believe even before we can start our development, that is necessary. Because in as much as 20 something years have passed, I believe that we are still fractured. We haven't mm -hmm. healed, we haven't had a good healing. Um, so I think that going forward, the expectations I have are those that bring the nation together. That is my primary focus. And then anything else after. Mm -hmm. You mentioned so reconciliation. Me, the yeah. coalition gives the best opportunity for us to come together. I might take a, a different slant, not necessarily um, putting so much emphasis on strong leadership at this point, but in people understanding their role and their function. Because at times we get carried away with strong leadership, and strong leadership takes us down the road. But people need to understand like, the truth us down the road. But people need to understand like, the truth through a coalition, through this coalition government. Because you have different parties who essentially act as checks and balances on themselves. And that, by extension, creates a more informed population, a more informed because different parties come with their, their following. So, Brian, how, how do you propose, how do you propose to get the, the people to understand? if in the absence of strong leadership? <laughs> um, I, whilst I have, I have it's, it's difficult. It's not simple. It's not, you know, you, you can't have... Well, 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 let's do this. Let's do this because I think you have something there, but let's expand on it. Give me an idea. Give me an example. Let's say, okay, let's say you're the principal of a school. And you have a hundred students and you want to impress upon them the importance of them understanding yeah. the, the the principles and policies of this school without you being around or without you having to see you know, now you put me in quite of a kind of a situation here but anyway brian what what are you going what, <laughs> what are you going to tell these My students to be having the principal dictating what should be the, the school's moral and values i think that Again, true healing and true uh, us coming together as a nation, figuring out where we want to go. I, I, I leaning towards the students of themselves coming to a common ground and deciding, you know what, this is what we want, this is what we envision, and then moving forward. That, I, I would lean towards that, not so much so a principle imposing. You know what should be considered. Uh, so, so, we, so then, so then, Brian, that means we do need leadership. As I said, it's not simple. There is, no, you must have leadership. You must have leadership. All right. All right. Mo moving along. If if you and while I have you there, if you can ask, if you could ask, President Donald Ramatar and former President Bart Jack, you two questions. What would you ask them? I would ask them the first question. I would ask is it why? Why is it that after three generations, as a taxpayer, you have a community on the coast like, that has never seen a road in its life, whereas your other communities, two communities down, that have had their roads done three times over. That's the first thing I would ask to Mr. The current president. And the second to the previous president, president, Mr. Jack Gio, I would ask, when we realize as a nation that we have an opposition and a government, I would think it uh, astute leadership, astute leadership, to reach out 
to the members of the opposition because like it or not even though those persons didn't support you they have a constituency they have a following and they are Guyanese as well so why would we want to essentially remove them from the negotiation process and do things as though we have one percent government I think I think I have I, I think that Mr. Jad, you need to speak about that and why it is those of the opposition, members of the opposition, haven't been included substantially into the governance of our country. Mm. There may be many, but <laughs> Rakayo, I I, I want to get back. I want to get back to you and and dealing with young people. Rakaya, you have traveled. You have traveled the world, and um, and you had to have been this. You you have traveled the world in the capacity of sort of an ambassador, and you had to have been disciplined with what you with, with your journey. You had to have been very disciplined. You had to have been uh, your conduct had to have been good and so on. If you were talking to a group of young people about the importance of discipline and good conduct, conduct to be taken seriously, what what would your message be to them? Well, your word and your repetition is basically all, when, when you strip apart everything else, um, your word and repetition is the legacy that you build. Mm -hmm. So discipline and conduct is essential in, you know, in your growth process. So, you know, people um, respect you as an ex extension of the, the person that you project yourself to be, and that comes with a lot of discipline. Uh, that comes with the people that you choose to associate yourself with. That comes with your own self empowerment, your own self motivation, and it's very possible. I mean, there are different people. Each person out there has a different personality, and it's really about just motivating yourself, ensuring that you surround yourself with like minds of people. Where you, whatever you want to do in life, you set a goal and you associate yourself with folks who uh, want to support you on that journey or uh, that can That's the program that I was on. I'm a little, I can't remember this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so I think that that's a process. It's very important because, you know, at the end of the day, all you have is that repetition that you would have built for yourself um, coming down to you, and that's what you have to represent. So mm -hmm. this, you have to discipline yourself. Um, if you don't have your parents there to do it for you, uh, you can surround yourself with people who are positive and uplifting people. Okay, I want to try something with you, and I think it might eliminate the echo a little bit. Is, is there any way you can address just your iPod to give us a closer shot of your head? Like bring you in... No, no, yeah, right. But but coming closer. Coming closer? <laughs> I, I... You don't want to see the gadgets I set up just to make okay, sure... Okay, Rakaya, okay, Rakaya. Okay, Rakaya. Okay, <laughs> Rakaya. Thanks. Thanks a lot for the effort. <laughs> well, I, I want to read something here. I want a Guyana where I can walk the streets without fear of being attacked by the police. I want a Guyana where I can make a sound investment and approach institutions without fear of having to wonder if my last name will make a difference. I want a Guyana where my university education matters. I want, a Guyana, to mo I want Guyana to move forward. These are the words of Brian Smith. So I ask you, Brian, why should a young man, a citizen of Guyana, be so worried? What is happening? Yeah. This is a, this, this is this is a, this, this is this, the whole lot we have, whole lot we have. Uh, it is it is. Uh, I, I don't I don't I don't know why we should have that problem. It's not necessary. It's unimportant. It, sh it shouldn't be. Uh, it shouldn't be an issue. It's very. It's 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 sad. Sad. When a child. I mean, I can give the most recent example. We have a, a student who, Elsa Hamilton, is expelled. And her scholarship, she gets it, the same scholarship like everybody else. There, there's no meritocracy here. It is sad. You see my hairstyle? I go down the road. If I, if I spend too late on the road, they will consider me a criminal. Why? Why? It, it is a sad state of affairs. I mean, I can tell you, I come from Buxton. I can't remember the last time I went into a, an organization and said, you know what, I'm from Boxster. As I've matured a bit more politically, I, I'm, I'm fearless of it. But with the stigma attached, I, I hate the fact. 
that I'm from Buxton because you know what? Buxton is associated with crime and violence. Do I look like a murderer? No, <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I'm like the most loving person that there is. But you know what? I just have this weird hairstyle. I have come from Buxton, so automatically I'm categorized. When you were writing these words, what were you present to? What was your what were, what were you present as you wrote these words? I was processing. There was a movement as part of the move forward movement. All right, and I was looking at the guy that I want, the guy that I wish to see, the guy that following a coalition government. What the guy is? What's my picture of Guyana? And that's the guy that I want. And I'm, I'm looking at persons of just uh, of my age, of my age group, of my ethnicity, of my educational background. Who have the same issues? Why do you believe this particular Guyana? Some might say it already exists. The one that you're at, you you're advocating that you want. And 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 why do you believe it doesn't exist? And and do you believe it is possible? Why does it doesn't? Why do you believe it doesn't exist? Yeah, the, because and I'm asking you this question because there are those who would say, what's what is this, what is this guy talking about? We are experiencing the same Guyana that he wants. And I like that. By the way, Brian, I love that look of consternation. Go ahead. Show me the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. For every one person who can tell me, okay, this guy exists, I can find, without fear of being contradicted, at least 10 persons who I know. And I'm not the most sociable person. I'm not the person. I'm, I'm, I'm a recluse. I don't go out much. And I can find 10 people for every one they bring. And tell me, show me when they studied, show me their qualifications, and show me that they have no association to no quote unquote big buy without knowing anybody. Is this following a life sending an application like everybody else? Show me that person and I'd be I'd try and congratulate them. Show me, show me the young in camp street jail who ended up there as a consequence of a system. Show me them. Do you believe that this Guyana you're seeking, do, do you believe it is possible, Brian? Yes. For? Huh? What is possible? This Guyana, that Guyana? You're, this, this Guyana that you want, do you believe it is possible? Because you know what? Brian is a part of the movement. Rakaya Boy is a part of the movement. The Lord is a part of the movement. Royal Jones is a part of the movement. There are young people out there that, I can continue to name, they might not come to my memory this world, who are a part of creating the new Guyana. Let's talk the about that. Let, 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 created with a new government. Let's talk about this, this cadre of young people that you are part of. Tell me, what is it about your group or about this group of young people that two things, give you pause and B, give you hope? Well, the first thing that gives me hope, the first that gives me hope is the fact that we were born after 1982. That's the first thing. And because we were born after 1992, and we were born in the age of information, and we, we, we've gone, some of us have gone to the same institutions of learning, and we all appreciate the same things. We all go on, online and see what happens in the other parts of the world. We are all informed. We have discussions. And mind you, all of us aren't from the same party. We're from different parties. But because you weren't born from, from, from a dinosaur era, you don't have some of the issues. Hey, Brian, watch that it. That this guy will be fostered. What gives me pause is that I would argue that we're not the majority. We're in the minority. And there is a majority out there to whom we wish we have to speak to. And that majority of persons, just like, you know, in the same age group, do not understand or cannot understand the problem that we're in so we have to educate them and help them to move forward with us mm -hmm. which by itself is a herculean task but i'm very confident that if just for nation it must be done and, and rakaya your sentiments same question 